but I don't know what it is. All I know is it has mascara all over it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So I got a video for y'all today all about the Kat Von D Saint and Center palette. So this is what it looks like. So this is going to be kind of like a first impression slash review slash mini tutorial video because I haven't played with every single shadow in here. So some of these shadows, this was kind of like my first experience swatching them. So for some, it's going to be a first impression. For others, it's kind of more of a review because I have played with this palette a couple of times, but I tend to keep gravitating towards the same colors. Um, but today I played with a few more. So that's why I say it's kind of a first impression more than a review. So we're gonna look at the packaging, we'll talk about the pricing, we'll look at some swatches. I will show you a little mini tutorial on this look and I'll just give you my overall thoughts on this palette. So let's get to it. Starting with pricing and packaging, the price of this palette is $62 and you get 24 shadows that are one gram each. This is what the outside box looks like. I gotta say that the packaging is totally what sucked me in to buy this palette. That's like why I just felt like I had to have it because it's so beautiful. I mean, look at the gorgeous like detail on it. This little symbol right here is raised and it opens up and then there are two different sides to it. So there is the center side, which is on this side. And this is kind of the more like colorful side. And then there is the saint side that opens up and this one is kind of a little bit more of the neutral side. So today my look, I used more of the center side. Um, but in other times I've used, well, other looks I've really kind of like gone for the neutrals. So there are some neutrals on both sides. So that's what I've used a little bit more of. So this is what it looks like. The back looks like this. Really nice and sturdy feeling. Very, very nice packaging. I love, love, love the packaging. This is all raised. Just a lot of detail here that makes it such a gorgeous palette for just like sitting out and displaying and looking at. It's just beautiful. Now for some swatches, so we're going to start on the Saint side at the very top. So this one is Absolution. So this is one of those glitter topper kind of shadows. So you really want to use some kind of a glitter glue or a sticky base for this to adhere to on that one. This one is Worship. This is Immaculate. This is Chalice. This one is Sacred Heart. I love that one. This one is Amen. This one is Sanctuary. This is Heaven. So pretty. That one's gorgeous. This one is Crucifix. Cathedral. That one's gorgeous too. I love that one. This is Rosary. And that one right there is Baptism. So all super pigmented and gorgeous shadows. And then the center side. So if you love colorful shadows, this will definitely be your favorite side. So starting up at the top, this one is Rapture. Again, kind of that glittery sort of a shade. This is Sabbath. This is Ashes. Ashes seems to be kind of an interesting one because it's like a matte, but then it has some shimmer in there too. And when I'm swatching it, it seems to really like that, that shimmer seems to really move around a lot. So I think it needs some kind of a mixing medium or a sticky base or something. So I think that one's gonna be one that you're gonna have to kind of like tweak your application technique with that one. It's really pretty, but you're just gonna have to do some tweaking. This one right here is Martyr, really pretty kind of mustardy shade. This one is Devil. This one is Revelation, that one's so pretty. Kind of reminds me of Nars's Galapagos because it's that kind of brown shade with that gold shimmer in there, really gorgeous. This one right here is Vestment. I have that on my lids today. Kind of that like blue-brown pigment sort of a color, but like with a, a really strong um, kind of turquoisey teal base to it. This one is Ministry, a really pretty blue. I do have this in my look as well. This one is Exodus, a really fun chartreuse green. I think that one's really a fun shade. This one is Exorcism, really pretty purple. This is Relic, oh my goodness, like the most beautiful, shimmery gold, but like a, a dirty gold. It's so pretty, like an old gold. Ooh, I love that one. And then the last one is Stigmata, a really pretty kind of like metallic-y, orangey red, really neat shade. Then as far as formula goes on these shadows, I think it's a really nice formula. They are super pigmented, they wear well throughout the day, but I do think that you're gonna have to tweak your application technique 
based on which shadows you're using in this palette because there are different types of shadows in here which I think makes it a really cool unique palette so for example like the glittery shades you really want to use a glitter glue and then pack those on with your finger because if you use like a fluffy brush it's going to go everywhere it's not going to be pigmented and you're going to probably hate it so you really want to kind of like tweak your application technique with those sorts of shades and also i noticed that a little bit goes a long way with these shadows so don't dig your brush in there or you're going to have crazy fallout so just get the tiniest little bit tap off your brush and then apply it there is still some fallout just because they're so pigmented um, and a little bit just seems to go a long way so there is still some fallout, so that may be a make it or break it for you. It's not for me personally, I just kind of do some cleanup and no big thing, and I do tap off my brush, but that's just a little side note. So something that I think you really do need to think about when you're using this palette is sort of altering your application technique based on which shadows you're using. But I find the mattes to be just really easy to use and easy to blend. I find the shimmers to be really pigmented. The glitters are beautiful if you use them in the right way. So I really love the formula of these shadows. I think it's all going to have to do with how you use them. So my overall review on this palette is that I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I got it. I think the packaging is beautiful. I do think it is an investment palette because it does have a higher price point but I think it's just gorgeous I think the shadows inside are really beautiful and I'm absolutely loving it all right so that wraps up the review portion so now we're gonna get into a little mini tutorial on how I got this look so let's get to it okay so I've already applied some eye primer so I'm gonna get some of this shade right here which is martyr on a Smith 230 brush and I'm gonna apply that into my crease and transition area and just really blend that out and I'm going for something fun today so I'm gonna get some of vestment which is the most beautiful shade ever on I think this is a Sigma concealer f70 brush and I'm gonna tap that off because it's pigmented and I'm going to apply that to my lid So I found when you kind of blend it, it's very similar to Max Blue Brown Pigment in that it kind of brings out more of the duochrome to it. So I'm kind of applying it like that first and then I'm gonna pack a little bit more on with my finger. See, that makes it much more green. Now with a small crease brush, I'm going to get some of this dark brown shade right here, which is Crucifix. And I'm going to apply that into my outer corner just to give a little bit more dimension and depth. I actually already started filming this and then I realized I hadn't told you what I was doing. So this is what I'm doing. Now for some liner, I'm going to use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in DTLA. And I'm just going to line my upper lash line with this liner, do a little tiny wing. And now over that liner, I'm going to take some of Ministry. I don't know how this is going to go to apply it over it, but we're going to find out. I'm just going to apply it right on top of it and kind of blend that out. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Today I'm using my It Cosmetics Superhero. So I went ahead and concealed and set my under eyes. So now I'm going to take some of Exodus, this like bright chartreuse green color, and I'm going to get it on a really tiny BH Cosmetics brush. I don't know what this is called, but it's like a teeny tiny little brush. And I'm just going to run this on my lower lash line. And I'm going to take that same blue that I used on my upper lash line and just apply a little bit of that more on kind of the outer third of my lower lash line using that same brush. I don't know what this brush is. Again, I think this, oh, this says Coastal Scents, but I don't know what it is. All I know is it has mascara all over it. <laughs> 
And then for a little glow on the inner corners of my eyes, I'm going to use my Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit. I'm going to get some of Helia on just a small little pencil brush and just apply that. It's kind of like a duochrome green color. And now for just a little mascara on my lower lash line. Today I'm using my Clump Crusher from CoverGirl. guys that wraps up this video so I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you please do a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below if you have seen this palette in person or online or you own it or whatever I would love to know your thoughts on it let me know that down below ask me any questions that you have I'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video bye